Looking to invest in your future? Forget about an IRA and let me tell you about an IRAH, an individual retirement account for your health. Now, for sure, it's important to put into your retirement, but equally so is being sure we're also in top shape to be able to actually enjoy it, right? Picture this, you're basking in youthful vitality, you've got this mental sharpness, a zest, and a lust for life into your golden years. That sounds pretty good to me, what do you think? Well, buckle up, because today I'm gonna give you the ultimate roadmap to get you there, and it's as simple as L-M-N-N-O-P. Each one of those letters stands for one of the pillars of brain health, and they directly impact the quality of our lives. So let's walk through this assessment together, and you're gonna rate yourself on that scale of one to 10. One being it's not going well at all, and 10 is outstanding. You're completely satisfied. All right, here we go. We're starting with the letter L for love. This is talking about the quality of your relationships. Do you have people in your life that make you feel loved and cared about? Um, are they trusting? Are you surrounded with people who criticize you, that are negative, that bring you down? So where would you rate yourself on that scale of one to 10? And M is for movement. How are you doing with the physical activity in your life? Are you satisfied or do you feel like you could be more active in your daily life? Rate yourself here. And then we have the first N is for novelty. Do you know that the brain awakens in the new? Yeah, so anytime we step out of our comfort zone from time to time, it stimulates our brain and it actually gives us a juice for life, you know? So are you meeting new people? Are you having new experiences, learning new things? This is novelty, this is good. The other N is for nature. How much nature is in your life? And sometimes the conditions of our life can impact how much we can get out in nature. Like if the weather isn't great or if we have to work indoors, um, that can Im influence how much time we can get. But how much is nature a part of your life? Rate yourself here. And then we have O is for an omega-3 rich diet. You know, omega-3s are the building blocks for our brain cells, and actually it improves so much of our health, like our eyes, our skin, our nails, our digestive system, and it can even help lower cholesterol. So we wanna get those healthy fats in our diet, like olive oil, salmon, nuts and seeds, um, even avocados. So these kind of healthy fats in our diet. And also think about the overall quality of your diet. You know, are you eating a lot of processed foods or are you eating mostly whole foods? So what do you think in this area? Where are you on that scale of one to 10? And then we have P for pauses. This is the quality of your sleep. Are you waking up and feeling rested? Are you getting seven to eight hours of sleep? So think about this area and rate yourself here. Now that's the element in OP. And these lifestyle areas have all been researched and shown to not only improve your brain health, but just overall quality of life. Now I'm gonna give you two boosters, so here we go. If you do these, they're only gonna enhance your brain health and your, your life in general, and that's meditation or prayer. How are you doing in, in this area? How is your prayer life? Are you taking time to meditate? And then we have music how much music is in your life. And really, it's about music you enjoy. So we're not talking about if you don't really enjoy classical music. We're talking about if you like rock and roll or <laughs> bluegrass or country or jazz, you know, whatever you enjoy, that's going to release dopamine, which helps us focus. It gives us that sense of drive and energy. All right, there you have it. These are, this is an assessment that you can do to check in and see how things are humming along. And that's, that's the really fun part is when you do this, I encourage you to do it at least once a month. You get to see your progress. And the reward is you're definitely gonna feel more energy, have more focus and downright happiness. So what do you think? Are you gonna put into your IRAH, your pension fund for, for your health? 
I hope so, and I would love to hear like what are maybe one or two areas that we walk through today that you wanna put some effort into? What's gonna be your next steps? All right, I hope you enjoyed this, and I wish you a beautiful day. Bye.